There are about two dozen launch sites along Florida's coast that have been abandoned for years. And the future of this area looked bleak when NASA's space shuttle program ended in 2011. But times have changed when SpaceX comes there. Most recently, Elon Musk's company has even shocked the entire rocket industry with insane working speed in Florida, from its rapid pace of building, expanding, launching, and so on. How exactly they do this? When talking about SpaceX, we cannot help but talk about Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built in the world. Luckily for Florida, although SpaceX is developing Starship at Starbase, the company still foresees Florida as a home for Starship operations. In fact, SpaceX plans to transform parts of NASA's Kennedy Space Center to become an operational base for the company's super-powerful Starship launcher, while keeping a sprawling complex in South Texas as a research and development location for the heavy lift rocket program. At Pad 39A, once home to NASA's Saturn V moon rocket and space shuttle launches, SpaceX launches astronaut crews to the International Space Station and Falcon Heavy rockets, made by combining three Falcon rocket cores together to generate some 5.1 million pounds of thrust, more than any other operational launcher in the world. The Starship dwarfs all of those rockets, with the ability to haul up to 100 tons of cargo into a usable orbit a few hundred miles above Earth, Musk said. SpaceX is building a Starship pad just southeast of the Falcon rocket's launch mount within the fenced-in perimeter of Pad 39AA, which officials hope to complete later this year. The company is also interested in developing another Starship launch pad, known as Launch Complex 49, a few miles to the north. And in late 2021, SpaceX finally began constructing the second iteration of Starship's first Florida pad. Orbital Launch Site 2 is still co-located at Kennedy Space Center's LC-39 a pad, which SpaceX leases from NASA. They're moving very fast, Dale Ketchum, Vice President of Government Relations at Space Florida, the state's commercial space development agency ever shared. This is actually getting closer to what Elon got into this business for to begin with. This is fundamental infrastructure to get to Mars, the early stages of it. However, because of NASA's trepidation at the thought of a Starship failure indefinitely delaying SpaceX from completing its Crew Dragon or Falcon Heavy contracts for the agency, the company deprioritized Starship's Florida pad, slowing progress. SpaceX has, nonetheless, made significant progress. In 13 months, SpaceX has created foundations, modified one of Pad 39A's giant spherical tanks to store cryogenic methane, installed miles of plumbing, built and assembled a second skyscraper-sized Starship launch tower, installed the legs of the Pad's orbital launch mount, or OLM, installed a water deluge system at the base of the OLM, assembled most of the OLMA's donut-like mount offsite constructed a new supersized storage tank and delivered a forest of smaller storage tanks. SpaceX has also completed the fabrication of a massive pair of steel arms, transported them to Pad 39AA, attached them to a wheeled vehicle, and installed the structure on the Starship launch tower in Florida. SpaceX employees have affectionately dubbed these arms chopsticks, and they are an essential part of what CEO Elon Musk refers to as Mechazilla Mechazilla refers to the combined launch tower and arms that SpaceX has designed to catch, lift, stack, and fuel both stages of the Starship. Once completed, the tower's arms in Florida will be capable of precisely catching, handling, stacking, and unstacking Starship and super-heavy spacecraft, even in relatively windy conditions. To be honest, building the Starship launch tower is an engineering feat of great magnitude, far from being easy. Many engineers even consider this ground structure to be more challenging than the production of the Starship spacecraft itself. However, SpaceX has not only one launch tower in Texas, but has also constructed an additional launch tower in Florida during the initial rocket testing phase. But before Starship was launched here, SpaceX has been dominated this place with the speed of the Falcon rockets. SpaceX come close to 100 missions. More surprisingly, SpaceX plans to kick its launch rate into a higher gear in 2024. This will be largely driven by launches of upgraded Starlink satellites with the ability to connect directly with consumer cell phones, a service SpaceX calls Starlink Direct to Cell.
A company official told ARS the goal is 12 launches per month for a total of 144 Falcon rocket flights. To compare last year, SpaceX launched 61 missions. In 2021, the number was 31. SpaceX has launched 88 Falcon rockets, plus one test flight of the company's much larger Starship rocket. It's almost needless to say that the primary factor driving SpaceX's increasing launch cadence is the company's ability to reuse rocket boosters and first-stage components. Last month, SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 booster for the 17th time as engineers extended the first stage's lifespan from 15 flights to 20 missions. According to SpaceX, this extended utility is currently reserved for Starlink launches. Furthermore, SpaceX's launch teams have been optimizing their launch sites for faster turnaround times. The turnaround time at SpaceX's busiest launch site in Florida has been reduced to less than four days between missions this year. This is crucial because SpaceX's other launch facility in Florida has been constrained by Falcon Heavy missions and crewed launches, which typically require more preparation time for each flight. From the outside, it can seem like SpaceX is rushing to each launch. But SpaceX says there's automation at every step, from launch processing to countdown operations to post-flight data reviews, where engineers look for near misses that may be harbingers of reliability concerns. Also, Getting most of the rocket back after each flight allows for detailed inspections to catch little problems before they become big ones. I see the fight rate can only occur if I can increase reliability so that they're not competing entities, the SpaceX official said. So we end up with actually a safer system, more reliable system to enable that flight rate. It's a really cool thing to be challenged to do that, and we're building all kinds of electronic processes and tools, techniques and ways to communicate within the company to actually make that a reality, to fly those 12 flights each month. Falcon 9 launch site in California has an older design, taking more time to set up for each mission primarily due to its robust back structure, resembling a vertical gantry structure alongside the rocket during the final countdown. Unlike their Florida counterparts, the robust backs in California do not retract from the rocket during liftoff. This means that the sturdy back structure has to endure a fiery plume of exhaust as the Falcon 9 ascends, leading to more refurbishment requirements between launches. Despite this challenge, SpaceX's ground team in California has still managed to execute Falcon 9 missions with turnaround times as short as 10 days. Officials from the U, Space Force's space launch Delta East, the agency overseeing launch operations from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Kennedy Space Center have efficiently coordinated their activities to meet the increasing demand for launches, mainly driven by SpaceX. In short, Elon Musk's SpaceX is spreading its wings in Florida so it can launch more space missions for its reusable Starship rocket. Florida is considered the holy land of the aerospace industry, the departure site of the great miracles that humans create in space exploration. Meanwhile, Starship, after only a few years of development by SpaceX, has become the largest and most powerful rocket in the world. It would be great if these two factors can be combined. In fact, SpaceX has long planned to launch Starship in Florida. Along with Texas, it will help SpaceX create strides in the aerospace industry. However, it seems that not everyone fully supports this, including NASA. They often give many reasons and concerns that made it difficult for SpaceX's above plan. But these challenges cannot stop Elon Musk and SpaceX's ambition. They made strong strides regarding the Florida launch system, as well as Starship, to dispel all those concerns and even cause shock and surprise to NASA. We all probably understand and admit the great potential of Starship, it is creating many records even though it has not yet successfully launched an orbital flight. Therefore, if Starship succeeds and goes into operation, it will bring many benefits not only to SpaceX but also to NASA, as well as the U.S. aerospace industry. Besides Starbase Texas, being able to launch from one of the world's most modern launch facilities in Florida will help that progress become faster and stronger. But as I said, not everyone likes that including NASA. Why is that? More than anyone else, companies operating at launch facilities in Florida will be the first to oppose the Starship launch plan in Florida, even extremely harshly. 
This is due to two main factors. The first factor relates to safety. Let's look at what Starship caused during its first orbital test flight. The deep hole under the launch mount, damage to surrounding infrastructure, other environmental problems, and more. It all took SpaceX many months to resolve and work with government agencies. Unlike the Boca Chica site, the launch sites at Kennedy and Cape Canaveral launch centers are located quite close to each other, spread across coastal Florida. If Starship has a similar problem, it will not only affect its launch site, but also the surrounding areas. The second problem is competition. Starship is a rocket that receives a lot of attention, attracting all eyes wherever it appears. The launch of Starship in Florida will certainly overshadow other companies' rockets. After all, the final decision makers will still be NASA. Obviously, safety will still be the priority NASA considers. In addition, there is another reason why NASA does not want Starship to launch in its areas. That's because the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions also took place here. These vehicles undertake many important tasks for NASA, as well as other agencies, especially Dragon missions to launch cargo and crew to the ISS. Therefore, NASA would not want Starship to affect the schedules of those missions. However, those reasons cannot stop SpaceX. In order not to affect Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon missions, SpaceX built a separate launch tower for Starship. In fact, plans to build an orbital launch system, OLS, in Florida began at the end of 2019. But then SpaceX completely redesigned the rocket and its ground system, so the work was delayed from the end of 2020. After a year, at the end of 2021, construction work was restarted. OLS-2 remains located at Pad LC-39A at Kennedy Space Center. During the construction process, although NASA often expressed concerns about problems with Starship and its impact on other missions, causing progress to slow down quite a lot, SpaceX still made many great strides. In just over a year, SpaceX has created important foundations, converted and built a cryogenic fuel storage system like the tank farm system at Starbase, Texas, installed plumbing systems, and most importantly thing is the process of constructing and assembling a second Starship launch tower similar to the launch tower in Boca Chica. Next to the launch tower, the orbital launch pad, OLM, was also built, and a water deluge system was also installed below the base of this structure. In addition, several large storage tanks Many smaller ones were also constructed. Lately last year, SpaceX engineers also designed a new Mechazilla arm structure similar to what we see in the launch tower at Boca Chica. By early this year, they completed the installation of this structure. Like its sibling at Boca Chica, this arm will also be responsible for lifting up and down and stacking the Starship. Moreover, it will also be responsible for catching Super Heavy and Starship when they finish their missions returning and landing at the launch site for reuse. Even more, to avoid affecting the launch of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, SpaceX also promoted the construction of a launch tower at LC-40. Recently, the crew arm was installed at this launch tower, which is specialized for Dragon missions. Having an additional launch tower would help the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon missions not be affected by Starship. Regarding safety issues, in the past few months, SpaceX has also made more than 1,000 changes, including important upgrades related to the engine and separation system, which is considered the main cause of problems during previous flights. The engines have been improved with new changes that are safer and more reliable. A hot staging mechanism has also been added to ensure the success of the separation process. Once it succeeds, it will dispel the reasons or concerns of companies and NASA. Thereby, SpaceX can easily move Starship to Florida, not only the launch system but also the production and testing systems. We may need to wait at least until next year, specifically after the second orbital test flight, to see the prospect that Starship can be launched from Florida. As the NASA's plan, SpaceX will participate in two missions, including Artemis 3 and Artemis 4, in late 2025 or early 2026 and late 2028, respectively. In these missions, HLS Starship, 
the version designed for the lunar mission, will be used to land NASA's crew on the moon after more than 50 years. It is the end of 2023 now, which means there are just over two years left until then. Regarding the Mars colonization plan, Elon Musk has recently made many important revelations. At the International Astronautical Congress in October, he mentioned the goal of launching thousands of starships each year to transport about 1 million tons of payload to Mars to build a self-sufficient city on this planet. Also in this program, Elon Musk said they are planning to land starship flights without a crew within the next four years which is around 2027 or 2028. As deadlines are gradually approaching, SpaceX needs to speed up its Starship project. Therefore, 2024 will be a very important year for SpaceX and Starship. Last month, Bill Gerstenmaier, the vice president of build and flight reliability at SpaceX, revealed that SpaceX will launch 144 missions next year. Recently, Elon Musk also revealed that SpaceX will launch every two days next year. Besides Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, perhaps Starship will increase its operations and contribute more to those goals. It will be difficult for only Starbase Texas to handle the huge workload. That will be the time when the Starship launch system in Florida begins its missions. But the key to opening up those prospects will still be the second orbital test flight, Although nothing is certain, it can be said that SpaceX has made unbelievable strides to get closer to Florida. Not only did they solve the concerns of NASA and the companies, but they also did everything extremely fast and strongly, making us, especially NASA, shocked. Besides Starbase Texas, launching the world's largest rocket from Florida, the holy land of the aerospace industry, will also be a moment that we will always remember for the next decades or even the next centuries. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.